Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Classic Auto World. On today's road trip, we're going to take a closer look at a 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. This car is very unique. They only made these cars for two years, 1957 and 1958. And Scott is going to give us a little bit of information about this car. Thank you, Scott. Hi, Mike. This car, uh, first it's finished in white, which is very unusual for an Eldorado Brome. I've seen a lot of these in black. Uh, dark blue, but I don't see too many white ones, and it's a pretty rare car to begin with. Um, it has the stainless steel top, which is unique to the uh, the Eldorado Bromes. Um, this has a, a V8, Scott. What was the engine size? It's a 365 cubic inch overhead valve V8 engine. A very, very big motor. And they made about 300 of these in 1958. Eldorado Brome by Cadillac. And you can see how far back this is raked back compared to yeah. most cars. It's pretty impressive. It's almost like a custom touch to it. Yeah. These wheel covers are pretty unique. Yeah, they're actually uh, solid. That's not a hubcap. So. Yeah, oh my God. These things are like. For back then too. These things are beefy. They, there's no tin in there. No, it's the actual rim. Oh, okay. It's, it's the actual rim. Well, no wonder. Yep. Yeah. I guess uh, something pops off here. Does this pop off, this cap, uh, to get to the lug bolts, maybe? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. This uh, Just got the car recently, so yes. I'm learning as I go. Scott <laughs> just got this car. It was uh, imported from uh, Sweden, was it? Um, Norway. Norway. Mm -hmm. Imported from Norway. It's got the suicide doors mm -hmm. with the unique side trim. Almost looks like uh, functioning vents in there. Yeah. Which is pretty neat. Look at all the chrome at the bottom. Goes down the quarter panel. The exhaust comes out these uh, vented areas at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Look at this. El Dorado. And the gas cap you access right here. Pretty neat. Gasoline, it says on it. And this has an automatic uh, trunk release, which we're going to show you in a little bit. Very unique styling on this car. And I think it's uh, one of the first cars, American cars, to use suicide doors. This, this came even, right. even yeah. before the Continental. Yeah. Yeah. We'll show you on the other side. Check out this top. Stainless steel top. Very unique. And thin-walled white wall, which most people were yeah. large white walls back then. And as yeah. You know, as you got into the early 60s through the 60s, it all became thin walled. <laughs> yeah, you almost expect big, wide white walls on a 50s Cadillac, but not here. And these are actually vents, intake vents, and automatic antenna, antenna right there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these vent into the engine compartment. It also vents across the cowl there into the passenger compartment, which is pretty cool. El Dorado. And look at these uh, bumper guards. Oh, crazy. This is crazy. Look how far they stick out. That's got to be a foot. Easy. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's, it's, the corners kind of round up to the, to the big uh, bullet. Yeah, it's artwork, isn't it? It is. I mean. Just so elegant. It is. And these are the horns. Okay. How about that? Yeah. And this car is really uh, restored nicely. This car, uh, you know, Scott still has to go through it. Uh, it's new to him. He, uh, he acquired it uh, this week, actually. So he's in the process of getting a lot of the little bugs worked out of it, um, cleaning it up, detailing it. It's amazing how dirty a car can get when it's shipped from overseas. Scott was giving me some story about it uh, you know, it leaves clean, but by the time it gets here, so much stuff happens on the route, on the ship, in the container. Then when it gets to the uh, port, this one actually sat out. Did you say it sat out for a little bit, Scott? So if you look at this top of this fender, you can see this line, this raised line. Here. Yes. And it gets higher and higher, and this part gets lower and lower into, into this the area back through here. Isn't that cool? 
Oh, it's open back there. How about that? Look at that. That I never noticed. Can you open up the, uh, yeah, the doors? Yeah, so the major cool thing about this car is <laughs> the doors that open. Look at that from the center. Doors. Now this is uh, almost like a two-tone gray interior. It's a leather and a cloth. The back seat's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now this post has to be a pretty beefy piece of engineering right there to handle both these doors. Fascinating, isn't it? It's got to be mounted into the framework. Absolutely. Yeah, the carpet here is extremely thick. Um, look at this dash. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. The buttons on the door. This is, you were telling me, is for the memory seat? Memory seats, yes. Back yeah. in 1958. And these are your windows and then two vent windows, which are here and across the other side as well. So you can operate both vent windows from the driver's door. Correct. Yeah. And this is how you open it? You just pull Slide that latch back? back. Yep. Like that. Wow. And these were your door locks. Right there? Yeah, right here. Pretty and cool. This is your outside mirror adjustment. Yeah, look at that. How about that? And then on the dash, you have your autotronic yeah, light sensor, yeah. And then you can see across, you got your oil and your temp and generator and fuel and defrost, air conditioning. Another unique uh, dashboard. Y yes, and the really unique thing is the turn signals. Uh, when you turn the turn signals on, these are your identifiers inside. Oh, these green uh, check marks? Correct. Yeah, these guys right here. They actually illuminate. So. Do they? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. A lot of detail in here. Yeah, amazing. And a clock. The clock works very well. Does it? Yeah. And then everybody's familiar with the glove box, which I still need to clean that up. But oh. Okay. Um, you know, you had your shot glasses and cigarette packages and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, this car doesn't have any of that. That noise you hear is the uh, pump for the suspension we both got in the car. And the car sensed it uh, went down a little bit, so the pump kicked in to uh, lift it up. So the seat material in here is very interesting. As you can see, it almost has like a shiny effervescence silk. Yeah. material to it yeah um even on the back of the seats as you can see back here very interesting you can see the texture and the headliner with the dual light switch i need to replace a bulb that you can see on the other side too very neat yeah very cool and has a uh, a tinted visor so that's another big telltale of this car too right is you could see through the sun visor but it's still shaded so, yeah, and it's angled to, to blend into the rounded uh, corner there. Yeah, very, very unique. Wow, look at that. Very creative. I'm yeah. surprised they don't have that today. Yeah, really. I'm, just, I'm sure there's some rule against it. And then <laughs> yeah, on the dash, <laughs> probably. Um, these would be your vents that would open for your air conditioning across the dash. That's cool. As well as, over on that as, well as the third one over there. Yeah, so very, very clever. And your radio. Uh, speakers, clock, as we talked about, and the very elegant script over there of Eldorado, Eldorado Broom, Broom. Yeah, which is I'll really cool. I guess that's for the speaker down there? And that's or? the speaker, yeah, the pedals. I haven't even cleaned those up yet, but you can see they're very unique with the stainless steel around them. Yeah, very unique looking dash. And what is this switch here on the uh, post that's there? for the uh, windshield fluid. Okay. So... Again, I'm learning as I go here. Yeah, that's uh, it's a nice car to learn on. Yeah, for sure. Still needs some cleanup. Yeah, well, and then as you know. come out, um, I'll show you the... Uh, oh, the hinges, side. yeah. Let me get around this side. Around this side. Look how the hinges work. Isn't that cool? It covers it up so that it has a nicer look when you step into the car. I mean, think about that. They went to that much detail that they wanted to cover up the hinge so you didn't have to look at something uh, mechanical there. And this ashtray was pretty slick. That's how this ashtray works. It slides back and forth. Not a door that flips up. It slides with your uh, lighter. Yeah, and the window opener 
with the slide. So pretty cool. Very cool. To say the least. And their own lock here, I guess, as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, and here's something really fascinating. If we stand back, Mike, you were actually showing me this. This actually pushes in. The seal? Yeah, for the door when the doors go shut together. Yeah, you wonder. Sometimes you have to close the back door before the front door, but not on this car. Yeah. You can close either door first, but on the back door, this goes in and out to uh, contour to the rubber strip on the front door. And then, as you that pointed out, seal. they all connect to this beefy piece of steel i'm sure is underneath this. yeah that's not going to move connected to the frame I mean, it's yeah. just unbelievable that's it's designed to to be beefy and then i don't know if you can get your camera down here but there's oh, also yeah. a heater yeah this was pretty cool too i never known that back seat you could adjust the heat I and never... it blow it on your feet yeah which is great i never knew that and, and there's a switch there too carpet. I yeah. hope you could see the switch. Yeah, you could control how much heat was coming in and out of it. So really, <laughs> really. They were really the thinking outside the box on that one. And again, this carpet is just so thick. Very I mean, plush. <laughs> very plush. Look at that. It's that thick. It's crazy. It's pretty thick. <laughs> the headliner looks great. Um, this is really a, a really slick car. Um, can't wait uh, for you to get this thing together, Scott. He's yep. got a lot of little bugs to work out. Yep. Again, it's new to him. Yep. Got to oil and grease a lot of things. Got to oil and grease some stuff and detail oh, wow. stuff. So what are we looking at in here? Uh, this is a 365 cubic inch overhead valve V8 engine. Okay. So we haven't started to clean this up, but... The hood pad looks nice. And then this is all for your air ride. This car came from the factory with air yeah. shock absorber, so to speak. So you got that you uh, label. Think of it that way. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sitting on air. As, as you, uh, you pointed that out, the, the, the suspension actually started lifting up when we got in the car. Yeah. It detected two people in it and it started to pump itself back up again to keep that, uh, that certain level of ride height. And it's a nut bolt restoration underneath the car. It looks just as good. Yes. On top, which is really. And again, those are actually functioning vents at the uh, cowl there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually detail. the exhaust that comes out is very similar to the Mark II 57 exhaust. It's all that metal tubing that's flexible. Oh, okay. That runs out. Oh, well, yeah, I was looking underneath it. Yeah, I, I know what you mean now, yeah. It's like a, a flexible uh, piping. Yep. But the doors to this thing are pretty trick. Yeah. I mean, can you can you show us how the trunk works? Yeah. Check this out. There's a switch, and let me uh, before you push the button, let me show them the button on the in the glove box. Yeah. Right there, there's that little chrome box. There are two buttons. Can you see in that it's one says open and one says closed? Oh, there you go. Can you read that? Yeah. One says that, open, yeah. one says closed. Well, let's see if we now can he's going to hit the open button. Let's see what happens. Look at this. I think you're supposed to have a car running when it does it. But... Yeah, well, the doors are open. It's, it's drawing some power, it's so it may be working slower than it should be. But stuff in the car, we're working on cleaning it up. We won't focus on that. How cool is that? 1957. 58 technology. Crazy. Look at that. Yeah, it popped up again, but <laughs> it's got a lot of draw on it. The doors are open. Yep. Um, this is just a, a styling wise, this is just a really classy, elegant looking car. Um, I'm hoping to do a better uh, uh, review of this car once Scott gets all the bugs worked out. Uh, again, he just acquired this car this week. Not many bugs, just a lot of cleaning. A lot of cleaning. Came from uh, Norway, and it was a bit of a mess when he got it. But uh, tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave your comments. Let me hear your opinions. If you like this video, please like the video. But uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and tell me what you think about this car. Thank you, Scott, again.
And we will catch you again on the next road trip.